From easily automating your own Renko strategy to using it as a powerful semi-auto trading tool or even using it to quickly enter your own manual orders. This is how the Predator can help with your trading. This video is going to be more about the general functions of the Predator and what is its purpose. I will quickly go through three different scenarios that are the most common uses for the Predator. This is not going to be a super in-depth video. If you're looking for greater details into the specifics of each section, make sure you guys check this playlist out and also reference the Predator guide. And yes, I'm working on making more videos for each specific section as well. With that, let's get started. The first way you can use the Predator is by building your own automated strategy. In here, you have many different options to build your own Renko or crossover strategy without needing to code or hire an expensive developer. And although most people like to use a semi-automated approach, which we will talk about in scenario number two, the fully automated approach will let you trade even if you can't pay attention all of the time. Or if you have certain parameters you would like to follow perfectly, this will allow you to do that as well. Now, just a quick disclaimer, you guys, you should always try and keep an eye on your automated strategy because connection interruptions from data providers do happen. And we take many steps to prevent scenarios like this, but you should always try and be there to make sure things are going as planned. So back to the chart. So here we're going to build a quick automated strategy just so we can get an idea of how easy it is to get started with the Predator. And again, this is just going to be a quick overview. It's not going to go into depth with every single parameter. For more specific information, make sure you guys visit the guide, the old YouTube playlist, or there are more videos coming soon. So depending on when you're seeing this, they may or may not be uploaded yet. All right, we're going to get started here. In the first section, you have your general controls of the strategy. These are going to control things like your chart trader panel buttons. Uh, if you want to see historical trades, which we will actually turn this on so we can see previous trade performance. And you can also choose how your position size is calculated. If you want to set your own custom position or if you want the strategy to automatically calculate your position size for you. For me, I like using auto position size so I don't have to think about how many contracts I need to buy depending on the chart size I'm using. So we're moving on. Manual entry, we don't have to worry about this one right now. We'll touch on this section at the end of the video because right now we are just worried about the auto entries. In the auto entry section, this is where we can set the entry style we want our strategy to take. So for example, we have our reversal, engulf, bars in a row. These are geared more towards Renko style charts, whereas your moving average cross or super trend cross, you can use them in Renko's or really any other chart. For this strategy, I'm trying to keep it simple. I'm just going to do a simple reversal, which means from red to green or from green to red. So once I choose to show the button, I can choose to actually trade the reversal and I can choose to color the reversal as well. And this is going to highlight all of the candles whenever there's a change in direction. Again, moving on, we have our indicator section and this is where you can filter out which reversal candles it's going to take. So all of these, we have our channels, oscillators, trend lines, super trend. Uh, we are adding a lot more options to give even greater customization. Each indicator is going to affect your entry style a little bit differently. So make sure you guys visit the guide, see the old playlist. More videos are coming out. For this example, I'm just going to go with the super trend. And you can define how your super trend is set on the chart. I simply just want to filter the auto entry. This means it's going to affect your auto entry style that you selected. Now we're moving on to the order section. This is where the magic happens. It's where you can set multiple profit targets, your automatic break even, automatic trail stop, literally however you wanna customize it, this is where you can do it. So for this example, I'm going to show you how to set two different targets and we're going to trail our stop after our first profit target is hit. And how we do that is instead of submitting one order with all of your position size. You can split it up into multiple orders. So I'm just going to enable our second order. And what this is going to do is it's going to split our total position size into two different orders. And we can customize the position size 
each order is going to get by assigning it up here in the auto position size. Uh, for here, I'm just going to do 50% goes to order one, the remaining goes to order two, just to try and keep things simple. And again, more details in the guide. So let's scroll back down here to our orders. And one more thing, you can select market orders or limit entry orders. For this, I'm just going with market to keep it simple. Your profit selector is how you want to set your profit target. With ticks, this is how many ticks from our entry price you want our profit set. The RR profit, this is your risk to reward. And I'm going to go with this one just because I get it asked a lot. Your risk to reward is just your entry and your stop price it finds the difference between that range and then it multiplies it by this number in order to set your target. So if I were to do, let's say 0.7 R, which is actually usually what I set my first target to in my actual trading, this is going to be the same distance between your entry and your stop multiplied by 0.7 and it's going to set our stop there. We'll, we'll show it in the chart just so it makes a little more sense. So for order number one, it's just a quick profit. I don't want to set a break even or a trail stop. For order number two, I'm going to set an R profit of, we'll keep it at three. I don't want to set a break even right now, but I do want to set a trail stop. So for this example, I'm just going to start trailing our stop once it hits our first profit target. So to keep things simple, I'm going to select the high low. You can select any style of trail that you want, but high low is easy. It's actually what I like to use the most. With our trail stop, you can choose how many candles back it's following. So I usually like to trail two candles back from the most current candle. The trigger distance is how much into profit you need to be before it starts automatically trailing your stop. So for this, I'm going to select the our distance and I'm going to select the same thing that we have for our first profit target. So in this case 0.7 and once we have our order set we can also add more customization to our add buttons which we'll touch more on that in a little bit and if we want to filter out our strategy even more we can add additional filters and here you're going to find things like your time limits, realized profit and loss and even a kill switch. For this one, I'm going to just trade the Eastern time, which is 9.30 till 4.45, which is usually when we have the highest amount of volume anyways. So just a quick overview before we put this on our chart, we have the strategy that's going to automatically calculate our position size. It's going to set our stop at the bottom or the top of the candle, depending if we're long or short. We are trading a reversal pattern that is getting filtered out by the super trend. Our first target is 0.7 risk to reward. Second target is three risk to reward with a trail stop that starts after we hit our first profit target. And it only trades 9.30 till 4.45. This is local time, I'm in the Eastern time zone. So adjust this for your own time zone. One last thing I wanna talk about when it comes to historical trades, Ninsa Renko bars, or really any sort of Renko style chart is not going to be very accurate when it comes to historical trades. With the results you get from historical trades with these charts, take them with a grain of salt. They're not very accurate. Very, very easy to fake numbers. One thing you can do to make it a little more realistic, if you scroll down to your historical fill processing, change this to high, and it's going to add a one tick resolution, which is going to make your entries a little bit more realistic. Again, I wouldn't really trust these numbers. Just use these numbers as a guide to whether you should continue testing either on a playback or live on a sim. I just don't want to put out unrealistic expectations out there. So we're going to hit apply and then we are going to enable our strategy and just give it a second while it loads. With the high fill resolution, it is going to take a little bit longer to load on your chart. I have, I think, 30 days loaded on this. All right, so here we have it loaded on our chart. So when the super trend is green, it's going to take the bullish reversals only. When it is red, it only takes the bearish reversals. So here we have a few winners. 
gets kind of chopped up over here. A little more chop, couple small winners here. Uh, you can go into the strategy performance historical. Let's see how it did. Yeah, it's actually not too terrible. Uh, obviously, this is just a quick example. You'd have to play around with it, adjust it to what works for you. Uh, I'm not here to say what's profitable, what's not. This is just a customizable tool for your needs. So yeah, just play around with it and figure out what works best for you. And the market is closed right now, but we're going to play it in a playback just so you guys can get an idea of how it works during live trading. So once it's enabled, you can just hit play and we're going to speed this up quite a bit. So now we are green on our super trend. Now we're waiting for a bullish reversal pattern, which is red order to green. Submitted. There we go. It submitted your first order. And once it reaches this target, it starts trailing your stop. Order filled. And that goes until you get stopped out. And that is how you can set up a fully automated strategy on your own with just a few clicks. And now we're moving on to the most popular method and my favorite approach to trading the predator, which is the semi-automated trading. So let's go set that up. All right, next up, we have our semi-automated approach. And this is how the Predator is originally intended to be used. So what exactly is the semi-automated approach? This just means you still have the same benefits of being able to enter and manage your trades quickly with the Predator. But with the control of our chart trader panel buttons, you're able to choose which trades the Predator actually takes. So I'm just going to go through an example really quick here. I have the similar settings as our fully automated approach. I just recommend turning off the show historical trades, really whenever you're trading live, either fully or semi-automated trading, because it takes data from previous trades. It could interfere with future trades, depending on your settings. So I always just recommend turning that off, unless you do want to see historical trades or you're using strategy analyzer. And I also turned off our super trend you are able to have indicators with semi-automated trading. It is just going to filter out your reversal trades even more. It's not necessary. It just gives you a little more freedom if you do. So again, for our example, I'm using just a simple reversal with the one confirmation candle. And this just means when it detects that pattern, it's going to enter a trade. So everything else looks good. I'm just going to hit apply and okay. Now let's load it to our chart and see what we're working with. For now, we're going to ignore the top buttons. That is section number three. We'll get to that in just a minute. For now, our automated trades are based on these four buttons up here. You're on, reverse, long, and short. So the purpose of the semi-auto trading is to give you a lot more flexibility on which trades the strategy takes. So when I load a chart, I usually have it just set up like this. I will disable the long and the short buttons. This is just to prevent any long or short trades. With both of these off, it's not going to take anything. You can also turn the strategy off. This will also prevent both. But for me, I like having the long and short disabled so I can just quickly turn the direction I want to enter. And then the predator will take over in that direction when it detects the pattern. So for now, let's have it off and we're going to hit play. So let's say we don't want to enter any trades right now. We're just kind of watching the market, seeing what happens. Yeah, it's not going to enter sh long or short, but let's say now our other criteria to enter, this could be any sort of indicators, anything you guys use for your own trading, whether it's a support and resistance, supply and demand zone, uh, Ludwig level, even a random price your weird uncle told you about at a family function whatever your criteria is to enter. The point is, whenever you want to enter, you can just simply toggle the direction you want to enter and it will take that trade for you. So here, let's pretend we are trying to go long here. We see a little bit of a double bottom, something forming. We just click the long button. It's still going to ignore our short trades, but when a bullish pattern forms, it's going to enter our trade according to our conditions. So if this closes Order green, submitted. yeah. So here we had our bullish reversal, our one confirmation candle, then it entered our trade. 
set our stop at the bottom of the candle. Our profit targets are at 0.7R and 3R for our second one. Now let's hit play. And if for whatever reason you get stopped out or you reach your profit target and you don't want to keep looking for trades, make sure you unselect the long. So once you exit that trade, you're not going to re-enter in something you're not expecting. So let me speed this up. Once it reaches our target, order fill. it's just going to start trailing our stop up, just how we defined it with the high-low option or whatever trail stop option you selected for your strategy. You also have other options if you want to add on to your order position. Submitted. You can do order that. You can order control order each add-on or exit. And also, if you want to go to break even, you can just click the button. It'll go to break even. Otherwise, it'll just keep trailing your stop until you get stopped out. And yes, you can move around your profit and your order stop filled. as well. So really, that is all there is to the semi-auto trading. You can still enter with the same auto entry styles of the Predator. You just have the control of when exactly that happens according to your own rules. And with that, we're moving on to approach number three. And really, that ties in quite a bit with our semi-auto trading as well. So let's go through an example of how to set that up. All right, guys, now we're moving on to our third approach, which is the manual order entry buttons. And for this example, I'm just showing it on a minute chart just to show a little bit of a difference. But really, these buttons can be used with any sort of chart, whether it's tick, range, Renko, or minute charts. They will all work in a similar manner. And the main purpose of these order entry buttons are to help you enter quickly when you're trying to enter a trade at the break of the previous candle. So how we do that, we can just click the little eyeball to set a line. With these lines, you have a green entry price that is going to get set at the top of the candle. You also have a stop line that's going to get set at the bottom. So how these work is when the price touches your green line, it enters long, it's going to submit your stop at your red line. And if you look at the lower left hand corner, you can see the long entry price, the long stop price, the range between both lines. And if you have the auto position size option enabled, it's also going to automatically calculate your position. Now let's say for example, you don't want to use this candle, you actually want to use the lowest point of this little range of candles. You can just drag the line to exactly where you want it. And again, look at the left hand corner. You can see our position size went down to three. This is because our range between the entry and the stop increased. So it's automatically going to calculate the right position size for the range you selected. Now we can hit play and with just the eyeball, the order is not active. You have to click the buy high button to actually make your order be live. So once it's live, as soon as it touches the price, it's going to enter us long. So let me speed this up, see if it does touch on this candle. Order submitted. Okay, so as soon as it touched our green entry line, it entered us long, set our stop exactly where we had our red line with the correct position size and again our targets are exactly where we had them set and of course with this mode you can also move your stop to break even when that happens and it's going to automatically trail your stop as new candles are formed so let's speed this up and see how that works so here we had it set at two candles back so it's just trailing two candles back but the point is you can customize your order however you want and just have it easily triggered in with these lines that are set on your chart. And you also have a bunch of different options. If you want to delay your order until the next bar, you can select arm trade. If you want to enter right away without it touching a line, you can just do enter long, enter short. That is just going to submit the orders you have selected here. Make sure you guys check out the guide, the old playlist. I do have a bunch of videos coming in the next month or so. So make sure you watch out for them. I hope this video was helpful to get a basic overview of how the Predator works and how you can use it for your own trading. If you wanted to check this out, make sure you go to the Discord. It's free to try out. But if you guys have any questions or requests, let me know in the comments. Let me know on Discord. Send me an email. I write everything down. But with that being said, I'm going to end it here. Take care. Enjoy.